All right, welcome to the channel for the first time. Viewers, welcome back from my existing subscribers. Um, what we're gonna do is go through some of my accessories. I had dropped a poll on the channel just to see who was interested in seeing what accessories I use for gaming. So today I'm gonna talk about my mouse, my keyboard, and I'll kind of flip the camera around and show you all what everything looks like and what I use. I'll give you a little backstory behind it as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. So this right here, you've seen a couple of times, this is my Acer Predator. I'll go ahead and cut on the PC. This is my AMD build that I just cut on right now. Um, so what I like about this monitor is obviously 270 hertz. And, and on the back, as you light it up, let's go ahead and turn it off. We'll turn it on real quick. You might not be able to see. I'll turn it around a little bit. There's like an LED strip that kind of lights up around as you, uh, as you boot it up. So I get a nice little reflection on the wall. First time it boots. All right, now this is the AMD build, so it's gonna take forever. Again, that's the monitor. Um, this is the one that is a Best Buy exclusive. There is a G, um, a, not a G-Sync, a, um, a FreeSync version uh, that's available. So be on the lookout for that if you're looking for something 240 hertz. I think it's a half MS response, um, but overall it's really good. Colors are nice, just like my my Dell SD, SDG2721 DGF, whatever that whole long, model number and name was um so yeah again just a really good monitor overall now my keyboard is let me go ahead and change this up a bit so this is the corsair um k95 is it the k95 so yeah this is the k95 it has the um the G buttons on the side, so it's got six extra keys. For those of you that are kind of looking at the smaller, cheaper stream deck, uh, this is really good for that. I like the RGB pattern, and I also went ahead and set two profiles. Um, when I was using this on PS5, I had tried the the Modern Warfare 2 beta, mouse and keyboard, because playing on a controller is just rough, right? So I tried the Modern Warfare 2 beta with mouse and keyboard, and this is what I was using. It kind of wrecked everything, and the only colors I was seeing was red. Um, so once you fire up the Corsair software, the IQ, you can actually program something to be on board. So this is my default, that little, the, the color wave. Um, actually, it's more like a, I think it's raindrops. Raindrops is the one. The color wave, it kind of changes. Let me see if I can activate that real quick. So this is more of the color wave where it kind of just shifts and goes through. You just press this little key over here. Now for me, um, I tried the 10 key list. It just didn't work out because I use this key to record my clips. This is my screenshots. This is to reset the uh, on-screen display on OBS, not OBS, um, MSI Afterburner. So I use all of these. And when I'm using OBS, my page down is to record my clips. My page up is to take my screenshot. So I use all those extra keys. Back here, I'm not gonna pull it out too far, but back here, you've got the LG, the, I'm saying Elgato, the EVGA XR1 Pro. Um, that's what my PS5 is connected to. It's okay, it's it's not bad. It's a really good capture card for what it, it, it is intended to do. It does support, um, I wanna say it does support VR, but you have to be on 4K for it or something like that, something along those lines. The PS5 doesn't really support it at 1440p anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, when I was making that video for you, I'm gonna slide this up. These are just cheap speakers, like $10 speakers, so we ain't really stressing about that. But this is my DisplayPort switch. So I got that on Amazon. It's really, very, really useful. And the way that works is essentially, whenever I switch from the AMD build to the Intel build, so there's the AMD build here, and Intel build here. Uh, whenever I switch between the two, I just go ahead and press that button, and that way I can have two display ports connected rather than one. Uh, talking about the switches here, this is just my switch where my controller, my headset, um, it's another KVM switch. So press that button that you see right there and it'll switch over my mouse. No, not my mouse. It'll switch over my keyboard. It'll switch over my headset. It'll switch over my um, everything I need essentially, right? And this here I just picked up. It's really cool. It's just a little cheap $18, $15 charger. Um, from Amazon, but this has like 40,000 reviews. So this is just really cool to, to have a wireless charger that's vertical uh, right next to the to the stand. It, it works via USB-C. Um, and the reason I got this one is because I intend on getting a QI puck for the mouse. 
So this is the Logitech G502X uh, Plus. So it does have RGB. I'm gonna throw in the puck here that will charge and then it does charge via QI. So I plan on you know, charging one of the two of them uh, direct up there. Probably the one on my Intel build because that's where I spend the most time is on the uh, 13900K and 4090 build. Um, this is a great mouse. What they did is they went ahead and switched the key or the, the mouse buttons to be optical. Um, on the regular 502 or the older 502s, they were they were only mechanical. So this is like a, a hybrid where it still feels clicky. Um, and here's the black one. So I had to get this exchange. I had a white, two whites really. Um, but you know, that's all the best buy I had. If you watch my 6800 XT benchmark, you probably saw me talking about it at the beginning, right? The, um, the Warzone one, I was talking about how I got this and this because it matches my PC better. Uh, so this is the mouse, what it looks like when it's on. I'll cut on the white one real quick. And I'm gonna have to jump out after this. Uh, but here it is. And this right here just unlocks the screw wheel or locks it. So when I'm editing, I like it to just be able to spin, right? And when I'm playing, I like to be able to get that tactile feel. This is my push to talk. This right here is my grenades. This right here is my melee. Um, this is inventory or I. This here is my map key. So I have all those keys uh, mapped to the, to the actual um, mouse, right? So it's a lot less moving around. This is the Logitech G Pro wireless uh, headset. I came from a Corsair Virtuoso set. And I will say that this, um, these headsets are phenomenal. Now you can't use them wired, um, but you, they're just strictly wireless. You can charge them while they're on, um, but they are wireless. And this is just a headset stand that I already had. Uh, so, so that's not special here. And that really is my whole gaming setup. Uh, the last thing I'll touch base on will probably be this Yeti on this mic arm. So record a lot of my videos, my gameplays directly on there. Uh, but with that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out from here. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to get all the product links into the description. So if you do need something or like something, um, you can go ahead and pick it up. All right, let me catch you on the flip. Be easy.